and you're ordering three dollar and fifty cents. But they think lights. it should be split down. And the then center. you get the check, and he goes, "Oh, should we just split it?" And you're like, <laughs> well, "You drank eighty dollars worth of stuff. I drank twenty dollars worth of stuff." You know, here's my tip. If I may give mine first, just don't be the organizer of the table because if you're the one that tries to organize everything and say, "Hey, this is how we're going to work it," you end up paying more than anybody else at the table. That's happened to me several times where I only ordered a, a thirty dollar plate and I end up paying eighty five. Where's Mitch? Is there an app for this or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> you can figure this out. We got, I, you know, if you're going to go out to dinner with a bunch of people, um, I, I guess you got to kind of judge who you're going out to dinner with. I think for the most part, it all comes out in the wash to some degree. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it, you kind of go out with the same people over and over and over again. Sometimes you're going to order more. Sometimes they're going to order more. Right. I, I, you know, I just don't really. Should worry you ask about for it. separate checks? I guess it depends who you're going out with. It's kind of like, I don't know, it gets a little bit older. I'm an old guy now, so I said, you know, one time I go out with the family, you know, they pay, one time we pay. It's just kind of right. up in the air to some degree. I think if you go out, I mean, a lot of this has to do with just etiquette, you know, rather than finances. Uh, and, I mean, if you're going to go out, you know, for a friendly dinner or yeah. drinks with people, you should be prepared at worst to pay the whole bill. Absolutely. You know, uh, don't be going out to an expensive restaurant if you can't afford to be there in the first place. Does it boil mind. down to who invited who? Yeah, and that, that, that's also too. If you're the one who invited somebody, you should be b willing to pay the check. You, you know, and then and then, but you just sort of work it out as it goes. When I was a kid, uh, I mean, a kid, I say, you know, in my 20s, I used to go out with a group of buddies and we would play credit card roulette. We go to a bar yeah, right <laughs> and work up like a huge tab, and there'd be like five or six of us. Then we put all our credit cards into a hat and go like this, and then pick it out, and then the, the that's loser a cute had, idea. No, had to pay the whole bill. I bet he was not a happy camper. Huh? No, whoever got it was not a happy camper. Every single day that happened. <laughs> <laughs> five, six, six, six Andy, Andy, you know. Two, three times a day. All right, well, kind of keeping on this topic, we're also giving you ways to not go broke this holiday season, and I want you to chime okay, in on each you. one of these. First it's off, they're no saying pay off credit cards no later than February. How do you feel about that? Oh, how about January? Just, <laughs> uh, how about not waiting till February? Because if you it's got more interest. 18, 20, you know, percent, everybody yeah. says, oh, I got this deal and there's X, Y, Z off, 20% off, 30% off on this sale. You basically kick that, you know, the can on that one if you're paying it off later on down the road. All right, cut, cut back on normal spending. Can you do that during the holidays to offset some of your holiday spending? What's normal spending? Right. I mean, you got to still buy groceries. People probably exactly. can't go for the holidays. It's difficult to do. Right. Maybe not buy gifts for yourself, only buy them for others. <laughs> buy gifts for yourself. I see do things like that. I, I don't know who buys. I mean, at this time of year, you basically it's all about the kids and, and who you want to get. For. Oh my goodness, myself. it's so easy when you're Christmas shopping out there to say, "Oh, well, that I, I like that. I think I'll get that for me." That's so easy <laughs> See, to do. They're a little bit different. We shop for stuff that we need. Oh, okay, okay, we don't okay. just shop to go to the mall. You know what? Ooh, well, Guilty as nice. charged. Very true. Up next for you. Holidays, all those things, iPhone, iPad. Exactly, uh, <laughs> we need them, need. Uh, make a holiday budget, 1% to 1.5% of your annual salary. Agree with that? 1.5% on gifts? Yeah. That's, a yes. lot of, that's a lot of stuff, isn't that's it? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of uh, money, and it adds up. Yeah, here's I, here's my on the menu oh, that was the most expensive <laughs> thing I could you possibly did lobster, find. Didn't we? <laughs> Ooh, Rockefeller's over here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this in all seriousness? I mean, what do you... Yeah, I'm, I'm more of the type of an easy come, easy go type of situation. Somebody gets it one time, somebody gets it the next time, and it all comes out in the wash, pretty right. much. Mm. Right. You know, um, a lot of times I just like to, when the waitress or, or waiter comes around and he goes, you know, who's on what check? I say, we're together, and then they're together, and then, you know, they split the checks. And that's the easiest, I think, way. People think don't you, have their feelings hurt, I, and I, no one feels like they're getting, you know, ambushed. Yeah, if you're not going to do either one person picks up the tab yeah, yeah, yeah. and you are going to split it, you you certainly do at the beginning of the meal have to say, in a, yeah, you know, we're a quick on one way, check. And well, uh, can I have a separate check, please? And yeah. I'm in particular because I have three kids, so not everybody's got kids you got to pay for, so I'm like, all right, I, you know, make sure that I'm paying for the kids. Yeah. yeah. Well, check this out. New information says 40% of adults say they're not eating out as much as they used to and I think it's part of it is they don't want to have to a spend a lot of money and B deal with the whole you know check thing or maybe even being embarrassed yeah. you know the holiday season like no I don't want to that reason too I think so some people just like you know what I'm gonna stay at mm -hmm. home and eat at home and anyway I'll, I'll say real quickly one other thing if you're not too worried about the bill do what I used to do with my college friends you go out and you play credit card roulette you, you run, run up a big bill and then you just put credit cards into oh a hat gosh. and you pull it out and the loser has to pay. I know you don't recommend that. That's our head drama question of the day. How do you deal with a tab while eating out with friends? Dish your drama. DailyBuzzNow.com. All right, Money Man still here talking about how not to go broke during the holidays. Everybody trying to one-up and out-gift 
each other, and that's a big problem right now. What's the best way to, to plan financially for like a special occasion like Christmas? You know, you have to obviously work within, I mean, we always talk about budgeting and everything like that, but there's a great way to ruin your year, 2011, is to be looking at a credit card bill come January, and you're like, my God, what did I do? Right. And then you're gonna spend the next several months paying this nonsense off, and you make yourself miserable, your relationships end up getting miserable, don't do it. You'll be paying off until the next Christmas, yeah. right? Uh, take a look at some information we found. Pay off that credit card, as Chris recommended, uh, no later than February. Cut January. back. Or, hey, he says January, but uh, cut back on normal spending so you can spend a little more on the gifts. Make a holiday budget. Don't spend any more than one percent to one and a half percent of your uh, annual salary. Buy family gifts, not individual gifts. That's a great one. Uh, give less expensive personal gifts. Give to a charity in a friend's name, and then have family pitch in. Maybe make a big gift. That's what you do, right? I'm a big believer that time is your most important asset, especially with the, your loved ones. Take a trip. Go to Disney. Go here. Go there. And make that part of the gift as well. All you guys right. enjoy each other. If you have any tips, uh, let us know. DailyBuzzNow.com. Mitch's wife makes really cool I'm trying to say another word. Anyway, uh, you know, you used to go out to dinner. Uh, you went out with friends. Family all went. Mm -hmm. And usually it was always like one guy, the statesman, that go, I got this. I yeah, I'll take care of it. But, you know, nowadays, uh, it, it's, it's that uncomfortable moment after just great conversation of who pays the bill. Well, they're saying because of the economy crisis, this is creating uh, a havoc, pretty much, in these restaurants. I guess waiters and waitresses are chiming in saying, you know what, we're tired of hearing people argue over who's going to pay the bill. So Chris Markowski, our finance guru, is joining us, weighing in on this topic. What do you think? I, you know, I think you have to judge this while you mention this. People are having a difficult time mm -hmm. out there because of the economy. If you're going out with somebody as well, it's having a difficult time. You may want to pick up their bill and help them out a little bit because they're a buddy yeah. of yours. All right, well, here's the thing. If you're having a difficult time, maybe you shouldn't be going out to expensive <laughs> yeah. restaurants. Maybe you shouldn't go to dinner. That's, That's right. right. Let's go grab some burgers, bring them over the house. Or, or order those $15 martinis, right? Well, you know, you go to certain yeah, restaurants. Sometimes you invite so them expensive. out because that, you know what I'm saying? You expect to do that. But this, well, uh, you know, and a great way to maybe possibly get out there is saying, well, you know, it's Christmas. We don't really have much and then that opens the invitation I ah, know I got it I'll take mm -hmm. it we'll have fun yeah. and and that will open the door for it um, something I have found to do is uh, one of my buddies is I'd go out and I would pay next time he would have to yep. pay take and the next time you yeah. know and then what would happen is because if I made him take me to this really nice restaurant he's gonna try to top it yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. like the next yeah. go around. the other thing is you ever wait tables I want you to speak when they give yes. you like five credit cards could you split this for us <laughs> exactly. oh man and, and figure that Instantly out before you get to that point right before you get to the bill figure it out ahead of time and say, well, you know what, if you guys want to split this, let's do three and three, you know, and then figure it out on top. All right, what do you do? Let us know. Yes, also we are talking about uh, ways to not go broke this holiday season, and we have a few suggestions. Chris, I want you to weigh on, on weigh in on these. Uh, first up, pay off credit cards no later than February. What do you think about that? I would go January. If you can't pay it off by January, you're probably spending too well, much money. Well, can I ask you this? How chronic is a problem is, is people just going into debt for Christmas? I mean, how do you yeah. curb that? It's a relationship killer. I'm telling you right now, I see it all the time. You see people, they think that they're wealthy, they've got all this stuff, and then you take a look at their credit card bills and they're, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in debt, paying eighteen, twenty percent interest on it. It kills you. Well, what do you think it's teaching the kids? Uh, but, you know, that stuff is more important. You and that Christmas is all about your, presents. Oh, yeah, that's you know, that's it too. Another yeah. thing, yeah. cut back on normal spending. What do you think of that? I mean, you're gonna—it's Christmas time. Oh. You're gonna have to—you know—I don't see how that's possible. You you're gotta decide what normal spending food. is. Yeah. Exactly. Make a holiday budget: one percent to one point five percent of your annual salary. They're saying should go to presents. But shouldn't that be year-round? You know what I mean? Should, yeah, that's yeah. what it's called a budget, right? So that's right? split up over like birthdays. Well, and I mean, the whole year you set it down, and I don't know. I'm anal, but I'm not gonna say, oh, you know what? I'm gonna spend one percent on, you know, I, yeah. You know, you know, Let me fit in important. a couple other family gifts, not individual ones. Give less expensive personal gifts. Give to a charity in a friend's name, which I think is really great. Um, and have the family pitch in. So if you need a little help and you want to get something nice, just ask if everybody yeah. would, you know, throw in five or ten. It bucks. works for the mob with like the Gambino family. Why not everybody <laughs> else? We'd love. To to hear your comments about this and everything else we're discussing on the show, head to our website, dailybuzznow.com, and click on the comments section and send us an email. Who holds the record?